Okay, so we are at Cottonwood Park right now. I'm with Amanda Berg from Lethbridge Living Magazine. She was here doing an interview with John Nightingale and I bought the snakes when we got a rattlesnake call. So we are off to 227 Sun, Mount Sundial Fort to see if we can find a snake on the back porch. Okay. All right, so we're here at the address. I'm um, waiting for John. Don't know what happened to John. Can you? What's the? Just that's, just just, that's just for Bluetooth. Oh. There he is. What's the stop on this one? Yeah, just leave it. Oh, just leave it, okay. Yeah, I just... Hello. Hello. Do you have a rattlesnake? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, you know, if you're filming for Rattlesnakes of Lethbridge Facebook page, do you mind? No, nope, okay. not at all. Cool. I mean, we're, we're pro any animal. Great. Rattlesnake too. I know they're beneficial, so... Nice quality, too. After nice looking at it, yeah, yeah, gotta look after it. Yeah. It looks after itself too. It's um, right in this corner by our gate. It's a, a baby one. I don't know. Well, as I was opening the gate, I heard this. And I looked down. Oh my gosh, yeah. Is this on the other side? Maybe? It's, no, no, it's right here. It's right, right down there. Uh oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I grew up on a farm, so I, I, I don't know my no. rattlesnakes. You can get the uh, get a good shot of it in the camera. Oh. I wonder if you can open the fence down behind me. Oh, you have to go oh, for me. Yes. Oh, okay. Around I can go around. It's okay. No, no, I'll, I'll go. I got him. Oh, you got him? You, you do relocate them. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I yeah. don't want to see any harm. No, no, we don't, no, we don't we, exterminate. We, they're obligated to do it anyway. Oh, okay. To a safe site. All right. Is this the first time you had one yet? No, it's actually the second time. Yeah. We've been here three years, and uh, there was another, a little bigger one uh, sunning on our driveway, but he meandered away. So we're facing we're facing south, south. here, aren't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. Right yeah. onto open farmer's field. Yeah, it should be into the pops. It shouldn't be too far. Pops, and you see where that that uh, telecommunication? Yes. That's, that's the, right the to beginning. The top, isn't it? That's the, the yeah, yeah. There. That's the yeah. beginning of uh, Pops yeah. Park. But this is all it's sort all, of arable land here, isn't it? I yes, think, so. and it's all. Yes, farmer's land from that gate, uh, from the fence on, and city property. Yep. Well, thank you for coming so quickly. I, I appreciate it because we didn't, you know, we would have probably eventually, we thought he'd just go away, but he, I don't know. He probably would, but this is better. Yeah. So. Very observant to find it. Yeah. Given the fact it's down there. That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> Very observant around my own place. <laughs> yeah. Like, do they start uh, coming uh, hash at this time, or is no? It they're just leaving their dens. They're just leaving their dens. Yeah, now that now that it's starting to warm up, we had that that kind of cold rain we got last week, too, so this week is actually affecting you know. I see. Okay. They start getting a lot more mm -hmm. calls as they move out. Once they find where they're going for the summer, they then the calls really slow down. But this next couple of weeks, I think it'll be busy as they're moving. Do you have a card? Um, I got a brochure. In case we have. A You've got the rattlesnake hotline number, right? Well, my, our, actually, yeah. we were talking to our neighbor who was deathly afraid, but yeah. we thought we better warn her because she has yeah. a little uh, daughter also. So yeah. she said, "I'll call right away." So, okay. I if you I'm can, um, you know, if you know your neighbors, it might, we don't. You don't. We're not trying to panic people, but we would like you. You could just pass the word around. But, uh, okay. You know. I don't know if you, if in this neighborhood, whether you had one that you sent. 
I, I'm not sure. They Probably. The, the Cooley Center sends a mailer mm -hmm. to, to some of the neighborhoods. We'll keep there's this. A, there's oh, a, that's okay. a dedicated number. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, for being so quick. I mean, yeah. nobody comes out quick <laughs> <laughs> or anything. That's we enjoy Except what my we husband do. may come for <laughs> if I need help. Or <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Let's do that. That's a good place. Yeah. We're still filming. Cool. You notice that that uh, that snake didn't strike the. Nope. Not at all. Let's see how it got. Pretty quiet. Non aggressive. Didn't even hardly buzz. Nope. Good, good. So we're on our way to a drop-off spot that is, we're obligated to drop them off at the nearest known hibernaculum, which is why we're kind of getting a bearing in the backyard there um, to see where we were in relation to the snake dens. There's actually a couple of different places that we could bring them to that are probably proximal in distance, but um, I'm going to bring them, bring it to a, a large wood pile that is um, very near size snake den and we just drop it at the wood pile and leave it there. Yeah so this this wood pile is a pretty nice habitat for rattlesnakes. You can imagine there's small birds coming around and rodents. In either case, you know, because we're at, we're near midday, it's gonna be getting to the time of day where they might want to get out of the sun. So this is nice and shaded and they can be, they can go move into the coolies down here and be exposed if they want to or they can just enjoy the shelter of the wood pile and get the bearings and go where they're going to go. So with every snake that I pick up, I uh, photograph it because I keep a database of uh, rattlesnake photos in order to identify them as individuals and study their movement rather than using pit tags or some other sometimes they people will paint the uh, the rattles you know they'll do a kind of a uh, different colors on the it's almost like a nail polish on the rattles to so that then when they pick them up again they'll they can they'll know who they are but try to get him to spread out a bit so that you can see his behavior here though he's got his head tucked under you know this is just a defensive posture a lot of times they'll have their tail up and their tail will be moving and so if there's a if there's a predator messing with them chances are they'll they'll bite at the tail instead of their head hmm. so we'll see if we can get him to spread out a bit here there we go there we go now you can see you know, look at the pattern on his back. You see there's a pattern break there. It's got kind of double, 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 and then you get a single um, dark spot. Those pattern breaks help me identify them as individuals. And then if I pick this one up again, I'll know, you know, where he's went from here. He or she, with a, with a snake this young, like I was saying in the, in the vehicle, it's hard to tell male or female this is not a breeding age snake but um this is maybe a two year old what do you think two three years old maybe. oh i think three personally yeah, but, three uh, three yeah, yeah i think i think you're right but still not not uh, breeding so if it was a little older we might be able to get a better judgment just by on sight of whether it might be a male or female hasn't struck the whole time we've been working with it. Hasn't even hardly rattled. Some people are of the opinion that um, you can tell the age of a snake by the number of rattles. Yep. In a word, that's false. <laughs> they, they, that's two they, they develop, <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Let's start this again. In two words. <laughs> They, yeah. Can I carry on? Yeah, please. 
basically they get a new rattle every time they shed the skin. So in a younger snake like this, they shed their skin quite frequently. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's like getting new clothes. As the child gets older, they have to get clothes more often than, than the, an adult. Mm -hmm. And um, not only that, but the occasional the uh, rattles will fall off too. So it, it just doesn't tell you anything about their age. Hmm. And when they're born, there's just a little tiny, they call it a button. Yeah. There's just a little knob mm -hmm. huh. on the end. Yeah, and you can see even this even this distance we are we're pretty close to the snake. We're not anywhere near in bite range. No. So totally comfortable to be having sandals and bare skin. Yeah, <laughs> right right line. Come on, get yeah. closer. Yeah. If I get <laughs> if I get about here, I'm in bite range. Yeah. yeah. Right. But it? out here, not not so much. And a lot of people like I've seen, even uh, some students when I've done field courses, come across a snake and they'll see it, and it'll be about this this far from them. And they'll jump and they'll run. That's a bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> we had a lady who questioned us at the uh, Paradise Canyon here about, well, will they, ch will they chase you? Mm. And uh, should I be running? Think what would you do around a bear? You don't run, mm -hmm. for one thing. Well, no. This isn't even a predator of people, so it no. <laughs> no. it's not going to chase you out anyway. But, yeah, it, it, all it wants right now is it's just kind of has itself in a, in a position where it could strike if it wanted to, mm -hmm. um, but otherwise it's just waiting for us to go away. Yeah. Initially, you noticed his tongue was out, yep. which is smelling. Yeah. So I would suspect now it's fairly relaxed, you know, yep. the way it is. Yeah. Hmm. The only, you know, it, it always is a little worrying anyway, it is to me, when you relocate them. Um, you know, right here there's two actually essentially two major roads because this one road from paradise makes a big loop mm -hmm. and if he chose, chooses to go back that way then but we can't do anything about that you know um, a very good chance this is where it's come from yep and it's you know straight in that direction over there right yeah. it's yep. it, it could could have easily come from cottonwoods too yeah know, it's hard to tell with yeah it. it is and there's dens that we don't know about yet you know we know we know where some of the larger dens are, but there's a lot of small dens that you know you'd have to be pretty lucky to stumble upon. So yeah, anywhere along the coulee it could have come from. Yeah, he's bored now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Him. Yeah. So the snake you see on the left hand of this image is the one that we picked up this morning. And when I checked this image against my photo database, I found out that I have actually encountered her before, uh, twice. Once being picked up and once at a den site. The den site, her home den site, as it turns out, is not the area that we relocated her to, but it's rather she was supposed to be at the North Riverstone Hibernaculum. That's her home den. So she traveled a long way um, from her home den and even across University uh, Boulevard somehow to end up at Mount Crescent. Um, so she's a lucky snake that, that she got across University without being uh, smashed. In any case, uh, we relocated her to the, the upper Popson area um, where there are some a variety of dens. And uh, I think she will probably make her way. She's got a whole lot of summer left. She's going to make her way to wherever it is that she wants to be, um, whether it's back in the Riverstone area or not. Um, but yeah, her name is Addie. Um, she was first photographed in October of 2013 in the image you see on the top right at the North Riverstone den. And um, so we know that's her home den. And then the photo at the bottom image on the right uh, was when I last picked her up, which was at the entrance of the university library uh, in July, toward the end of July of last year, 2014. So Addie gets around. Hey, she's, she goes from as far as the university library all the way uh, to Mount Sundial Crescent, um, which is quite a distance and her home den is in between. 